Ah, you know what? How about we just check out some bikes instead? Welcome back everybody, I'm JT the Dusty Dutchman and we are back in one of my favorite places to hang out, work on bikes, and film videos, the Dutchman's Den. So because I live in southeastern Wisconsin and I ride all year round, uh, my bikes see all kinds of different terrain. They see dirt, snow, pavement, gravel, uh, and I'm always looking for the perfect weapon for all those scenarios. So in this video, we're gonna go through the five bikes that I'll be riding throughout the course of 2022. Uh, we're gonna have a special guest joining us. And if you make it all the way to the end of this video, there's gonna be a very special announcement. Hello. Hey guys. Like I said, two very special guests today. So starting with my least ridden bike throughout the course of the year, uh, this is also the oldest bike on this list. It's a 2015 uh, Fixation Eastside. This is a single speed, single brake, steel frame, very basic bike, uh, but it's my bruiser bike. Uh, if I'm city riding, if we're doing bar crawls, if I'm going anywhere where the, the bike might get in trouble, I'm taking this bike. Um, pros and cons, pros are definitely just the ease of use and ease of maintenance. There's so few parts on this bike that there's hardly any parts to really go wrong. Uh, and then cons would probably just be the seating position. It is based on a track frame, so you're leaned over quite a bit and it's just not that comfortable. But if I need a bike that I can count on and I don't really have to worry about it, this is the one. Next up is a 2021 Salsa Bear Grease style frame uh, that I bought from DIY Carbon Bikes. Um, this bike is where it is on the list because I can only ride it about three months out of the year because I only ride fat bikes on snow. That's just my preference. Um, Really fun bike. Pros and cons of this one. Uh, pros are, this is my most carbon bike. It's got the most carbon parts on it, so it's very light uh, and fast on the snow. Cons, no suspension. The only suspension is really on the tires, and I like suspension. Um, so that would really be the only downside to this bike. All right, quick disclaimer, guys. Um, if you're offended by oval chain rings, you're gonna wanna click off this video now, because all the rest of the bikes have them. I didn't realize that they were so polarizing and so controversial uh, until I put up uh, this short where I put an oval chain ring on one of my bikes, which you can check out. I'll put a link to it. Um, if you want a laugh, go look at that video and read the comments because there's some gold in there. Next on the list is the first mountain bike. This is a 2020 Ibis Ripley, uh, which was the first modern full suspension carbon fiber mountain bike I ever bought and rode and I'm completely impressed with it. Uh, pros and cons, pros are it rides and feels lighter than it actually is, which makes it feel very snappy, very fun to ride. Um, and it punches above its weight class for sure. Like it can definitely take on more uh, difficult and gnarly terrain than I thought it could. And the cons, um, I think just because of how long it is, uh, the low speed flat cornering is a bit weird and kind of twitchy. Um, but that's really the only issue I have with this bike. Other than that, it's one of the most impressive bikes I've ever ridden. All right, before we get to the next bike, I think it's time for our first special guest of the day. So Fruit Punch, you want to uh, step out from uh, behind the camera there? And this is what I ride. Uh, this is a 2021 YT Jeff C Core 3 model, uh, mostly stock. Pros and cons of the bike, um, I was shocked at the ability on the uphills, um, very comfortable, very easy going. Um, also the stability on the downhills, very confident um, in the air, can say just the same. So cons, I would say it's a little bit on the heavier side, um, but not anything to steer you away from this bike. So very happy with it. And since I got you here, uh, not only do I do videography and riding, but my specialty is photography, specifically action sports and lifestyle like this. So be sure to give me a follow on Instagram and I think you'll like the content. 
All right, next up is the second of the two mountain bikes, a uh, bike you've probably seen a, a bunch. Uh, this is my 2022 Canyon Spectral, which I got back in March. But whenever I'm in doubt, this bike's coming out. Um, it's pros and cons. Pros are definitely uh, similar to what uh, Aaron said about his YT. It climbs better than you would expect it to for such a heavy, uh, slack bike. And they just, man, they, they take a beating and they jump really, really well. Um, so very happy with this bike. Only con I can really think of is like, it seems to scratch kind of easy. And I also have noticed that my uh, chainstay protector is uh, starting to fall off. So kind of nitpicky, but honestly, it's been such a good bike for me. It's been hard to find things that I don't like about it. All right, before we get into my last bike, uh, it's time for our second special guest of the day. Sarah, come on in. Tell us about your bikes. Hi, I'm Sarah. I ride this one in the summer and that one in the winter. Okay, that, that's very informative, thank you. Mm -hmm. And time for the last bike on the list, which is the bike I ride the most every year. Uh, this is a Niner, RLT9, uh, which is an aluminum framed all road bike. Um, it's great for gravel, uh, dirt, pavement. Um, it kind of does it all, which is why it gets so many miles put on it every year. If I don't have time to mountain bike, I'm definitely on this bike, uh, riding this on the road probably almost every day of the summer. Pros and cons to this bike. Uh, pros are definitely its versatility. It takes a very large tire and it'll also take a 27 five inch wheel. So it gives me a lot of options of how I want to ride this bike. <laughs> this got away from 100 pound. The cons are just the stiffness of the aluminum frame. Uh, on long rides, you definitely start to feel it towards the end. Uh, so the only thing I would potentially do to this bike in the future is swap it out for like a titanium frame or something like that. But great bike, we've spent a lot of time together. So thanks for checking out the five bikes I'll be riding in 2022. Um, if you made it this far, I did promise you a special announcement, which is we're getting married. What? No, oh, beat it. Sorry. Sorry, we're we are getting married. Uh, we got engaged a little while ago and in a couple weeks we're gonna be officially married. So we're, we're very excited about that. And uh, what that means for you guys is that there's gonna be a mountain bike bachelor party video coming your way, which should be pretty interesting. And then our honeymoon. So good things to come all around. And lastly, as always, don't forget to get outside, get on your bike. And good things will happen. See ya.